So how the uh, how the workout go today? It was it was great. You know, just 45 minutes of just non-stop hard work, man. It was good. What are you trying to work on in workout workouts like this? Well, uh, what am I trying to work on? Well, this specific one, I was just trying to show what I could do. What I'm working on with Rob, uh, like you know, when everyone's not here and stuff, what I'm working out with Rob is just you know, just dribbling, shooting, post moves, especially post moves and stuff, and yeah, just stuff like that. Like, getting the hook shot down and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Today was just about trying to tear down the rim. Yeah, you're pretty much just showing off straight up, that's all it was. <laughs> uh, what's it like working out in front of so many famous NBA executives, GMs? Uh, were you looking around at some point and being like, whoa? See, the good thing is like, I didn't wear my contacts today, so like, I can't see them. So like, that was good, that helps, because I don't know who they are, so I'm like, oh, it might be just random audience, so I might go put on my glasses and actually have a look. I'll probably be surprised, man. Do you usually play with your gla with your contacts on? No, not usually. I, I better start doing it, you know what I mean? But yeah, I never have. Just because it gets in the way. It just like sometimes it moves and then you're like, uh, don't want to do it, eh? What about LASIK? LASIK, what's that? LASIK surgery to fix your eyes. Oh, laser? Oh, shit. I don't know. Sounds, sounds a bit intense, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should get that. But, yeah, it's a possibility, so. Maybe if you get your eyes fixed, you'd be like Ray a Dirk Nowitzki all of a sudden. Yeah, I know, right? He's my idol, bro. I got a photo with him the other day. Where at? Dallas. I had a workout in Dallas. Oh, man, I met him. Woo -hoo. That was amazing. That was amazing. Any one-on-one? -on -one? Nah, no way. I was just talking to him. We were just having a good old talk, man. Just because, yeah, he's been, he's been my idol ever since I started. So, yeah, that's why. What was uh, what was the NBA workout like? What kind of stuff were you doing there? Uh, same sort of stuff. It's pretty much just certain drills, and then they'll sometimes put on their like system, like certain movements, like you know, like say Lakers how they got the triangle or whatever. Yeah, Dallas they got a different one, so they'll try and like input that, see how you work around their their system. So they're just doing that as well as just certain drills, see how high you could jump, kind of dunks you could do, shooting, stuff like that. It's mostly live though, like two on two, one on one. Yeah. Have you been uh, enjoying the draft process so far? Is it tiring, overwhelming, or are you just having fun with it? Just having fun with it, man. Just taking it day by day and making sure I don't miss anything. This is a great experience, man. Straight up. Seems like uh, you've been doing really well. People are talking about you. It seems like your stock is, is rising. Is that, is that surprising for you, or was that the goal all along? Um, yeah, you can say it's a goal. Like as I said, I don't really worry about it, man. I just just making sure I get better as a person. I ain't too worried about the stock and all that sort of stuff. Just you know, listening to Rob and because I want to go to the NBA and like do some stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's that's the whole goal for me. So it doesn't really matter where where you get where you get drafted. Well, yeah, it does kind of. So like, I want to go up as high as I can, but like. In terms of like, am I thinking about it and stuff? Like, it's like, no, but I just want to make sure that I, I'd be the best player that I could be. And in my league, like, I think, yeah. How ready do you think you are to contribute from day one? Uh, I think I, I think I can compete with NBA players. Like, as I said, like, at draft, like, I ain't going to go there and dominate the game. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just going to, I think I can go there and do, fulfill certain roles and be good at those roles and then build up from that. But, yeah, that's going straight forward into it. I just think, yeah, that's, I'll say, like, be screener or run the lanes or block shots, stuff like that. So, yeah, I think I'll be good at that. Talking to the teams, the first thing they mention about you is how much you love contact, and that's something that they love about you. Wh where does that come from for you? Uh, I don't know. I guess people see it because like, I played rugby when I was younger, so there's a lot of contact. But then it's also, like, the basketball rules in New Zealand, like, it's slightly different. They, like, rugby players play basketball, you know what I mean? So, yeah, they just always like to smash people. But that's how I think I got used to it. Yeah, it's pretty enjoyable, too. Yeah. I get a lot of emails and tweets from people in New Zealand. Um, they're always wanting to know how you're doing. What's it like having a whole country behind you? Oh, it's great, man. It's just... It's also fairly like just you know because I'm like really proud to be a Kiwi or a New Zealander. So like now now that like I've seen that like people have been wanting to know, so I just like started up like say a Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that just so I can keep everyone like you know in touch with me and see what I'm doing because like they they don't know what's going on in America like most of them don't even like leave the country so it's good just to show them like what I'm doing and 
What's up here? How, um, how do you think um, basketball in New Zealand can get more popular and how, how, can, how can you get more kids to start playing the sport? Uh, we actually, that's how we really started, man. Because, uh, you know, certain sort of players like myself as well as other players from New Zealand made it over to America, to colleges and stuff. So that's building up the reputation as well as um, our, our national team, uh, the Breakers. They beat like the Australian League three times, they're a three time winner. So. There's that. It's also like you know, it's just all building reputation. So all the kids are getting interested now. They're looking at other things uh, like basketball instead of rugby. So yeah, it's actually good. And I think it's got to progress from there. Kenny Max uh, got a program. That's my coach. Kenny Max got a program uh, academy now. There's got a ton of kids now. It started off with like me, like maybe 20 people, 30 people. Now there's like over maybe 300, 300 kids in there now. So it's like it's got to progress. And yeah, our basketball, New Zealand basketball, has definitely got a bright future ahead of us. Great stuff, man. Hey, best of luck. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.